that Z podcast. Z podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I think before I even talk about you know what, what we're talking about today and who we're talking to, it's important. Elson, mm-hmm. yep. it's important, important to show the food that we have been blessed with in see, this home. You see how my plate is half done now? <laughs> Before already? the interview even starts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Before the interview even starts, Elson has already done this food. That Z Podcast. Z Podcast. Zambian conversations worth having. We talk to Zambian movers and shakers, the change makers, the achievers. We also discuss interesting topics. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, That Z Podcast. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Listen to That Z Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Anchor. That Z Podcast. Zambian conversations. Worth having, hosted by K, K-, K- Plus. It's K Plus, baby. <laughs> this man. food was uh, there's what there's chicken, there's carrots. What's this? There's mint on the top. Um, basil. Basil. Nice. Fresh from my garden. <laughs> Fancy. Yeah, yeah, carrots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being straight from the garden. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much from the garden. That's my flex these days. <laughs> so you may not you may not see all the food from your from. from from that camera, uh-huh. but there's rice at the bottom. Naconda rice to be Naconda specific. rice to be specific. Because you know, we knew who was coming. <laughs> <laughs> she did her research, right? She, she did her research for the interview. Mm-hmm. She should be interviewing us <laughs> now. Yeah, so there's, there's good food. And the, the, the secret ingredient. Yep. Love. Yes. Oh, yeah. Love. Yeah, right. Loads Mis- of it. Mr. Wood prepared this food for us just as we came in. He gave me a cocktail as well. It's a, it's a what, Jin and... Uh, who made you the cocktail? Let's be straight. I said the food was yeah. made by Mr. Uh-huh. Wood. And then the drink. The drink was yeah. made by our host this evening. Thank uh-huh. you. Lulu Hangala, <laughs> our guest this evening. Your house has got so much positive energy. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. Like we... the second you walked in. He didn't even knock when he came in. Oh, very welcoming. Oh, he didn't even knock when he came in. He just walked in. That's the feeling we it was always... You know when we got married or when we were about to get married, yeah. we always said we want our home to feel like love. You kept and it you, you know the power of words. They spoke love and it's exactly what you find when you enter their home. Uh-huh. I came in and I just <laughs> felt this positive energy. And, oh, and it's, it's, it's amazing, man. It's this home. Well, welcome we home, are, guys. We are in the kitchen mm-hmm. of Wood Kitchen. T- yes. is, that, is it a TV show? What do you call it? No. We just, it's, it's, what do you call it? We just create content, man. We wood just, Kitchen. Yeah, the Wood Kitchen content. We have the YouTube channel, yeah. The Wood Kitchen, and our Instagram, at The Wood Kitchens. It's been, like, it used to be Wood Kitchen yeah. ZM, but now we've got multiple kitchens or multiple kitchens to come. So it's now called Wood Kitchens, mm-hmm. and even our website is Wood Kitchens because this is Kitchen 1, and then we've got the now outdoor kitchen, Kitchen 2, and Kitchen 3 is being built from first quarter you of guys, 2022. You guys are such serious business people. Then yesterday when we were having a conversation <laughs> as early as 6 in the morning, we are busy texting each other and oh, stuff yeah. about this interview <laughs> yesterday. And then uh, you mentioned that the day before that, you couldn't pick up my calls because you were working the whole day. And then I said, yeah, yeah there's no rest for entrepreneurs. And your response to that was, I am not an entrepreneur. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, Spot my gin and tonic. <laughs> Anyway, you responded saying you're not an entrepreneur, but you're doing so much business. What? I don't know. You know, I'm always so scared about putting a title on what I do yeah. because I just maybe because I feel like when someone says entrepreneur, you need to be, you know, like somewhere up there doing big things, making millions of dollars. So L- I just like feel Dumisani I'm not yet Nube. 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 Say the, it the right, folks. Say it right. Nube. You know why I find it funny that you don't call yourself an entrepreneur? Uh. When I was doing research on you just yesterday in the morning, uh-huh. uh, there's a post. I don't, I don't know where that was. Uh, you're in a studio and you're talking about GBV. Yeah. And the caption at the bottom of the screen says, Lulu Hangala, entrepreneur. I'm like, this chick. <laughs> <laughs> and you probably gave the producer your title to, to, to call no, you an entrepreneur. They, they put it there. They, they just put, put it, it there themselves. Yeah. I just... I find it very hard to put titles to what I do. Oh. I, I don't know. Maybe it's a imposter syndrome, they say. But I just find it very hard to call myself so something. So how would you describe yourself? Yeah. Um, I think mostly I would say just a media consultant. 
um, because a lot of what I do sort of fits into the media world. Right. Um, and there's a lot that I do. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so I always just use the word consultant and that makes it a bit easier for me. Um, I don't have to over explain. Um, so that's how I like to, you know, sort of describe you know, what I do. Being a person who doesn't like putting titles on things. Um, let, let, me, let me bring up one title that mm. quite shocked me. Um, some years back when I discovered that this was actually your, like, you know, a, a huge part of your background. Mm. You being a maid. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was a maid at some point. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 12, um, I think, yeah, 12, 13, I was a maid. Um, at 12 in years old? Yes. So my, my mom and dad, whenever I asked them, say, okay, but guys, you were a bit wild with me because <laughs> I just asked for some money. Mm. And then my dad is like, go find a job. I don't have money for pocket money. You know, we're not there. I like your dad. You know, go find a job. And I'm like, I've been working all my life because from the age of four, I was on stage. And yeah. then by the time I was six, that getting on stage is what helped the family. Yeah. So we used to go out, sing with dad. We recorded a cassette. Then yeah. every other weekend, we're moving around Zimbabwe, especially. Mm-hmm. Um, would going cross into Botswana, sometimes cross into Zambia. Over the weekend, there was no play. It was work. Mm-hmm. Um, so when my parents graduated from uni, I'm like, okay, guys, now you've graduated. Work is done. And my dad says, but you want pocket money. Go and find work. You know those people that you're always chatting with at church, you know, and you're helping them in Sabbath school? Ask mm-hmm. them if they need any help with anything. I didn't. And I don't think he thought they would give me a main yeah, job. Yeah. Um, I also thought they would give me like a, just, you know, come into the office and fix the papers. And they were like, oh, we actually need a maid. Just so like that. you come in after school, you can just clean up. It wasn't hectic. Yeah. My mom had taught me well in terms of, you know, the home stuff. So You know, whenever, yeah. whenever, whenever I think of uh, somebody saying maid, I think of you on your knees scrubbing floors and stuff. It wasn't that hectic, it was it? Hectic. Well, I did mop. Okay. I did have to shine. I had to wash plates. I had to fold clothes, get clothes off the line. They had a washing machine, so they'll put the stuff into the washing machine and take it out. And then I I sort of fold it up. And how, I make how, much, sure how much were they paying you? I was about to ask that. <laughs> so, I'm the, I'm the money what? guy. I actually yeah. don't remember what they paid what? me. But what I do remember is yeah. what yeah. came out yes. of that. Yeah. Yeah. Like what came out of that was a big thing. So as I continued to work with them, they seemed so impressed. They moved me into the office to help the cleaners. In the, so they already had cleaners, mm-hmm. but now I started helping sweep the office and a cleaner would come and just like mop it. And then they moved me up to helping them do outreach work because they were like an NGO, ADRA, mm-hmm. Adventist yeah. Relief Agency. So the she was the MD of that in, in Chipata, somewhere deep, deep in Mwami Hospital. And I started going out, talking about cholera and malaria. So... I, a lot of the CSR I do now, I sort of learned from there. Oh. from there. But then out of that came my sponsorship to go to private school. So my parents could oh. not afford Anderson Academy in Zimbabwe. Yeah. And they found me a sponsor. They just randomly asked me one day, do you like mm-hmm. the school you're at? I'm like, no, I hate it. <laughs> because I came from this school in Zim where I was like top five. And now I'm number one, but with no, I don't need to work hard. Yeah. I don't need it's to study. It's too easy. It's too easy. And um, the level of education right where I am here is not so great. So I want something better. I want to go to America. You know, I was a big dreamer. I want to go to Anderson. For me, it was like that really great school to go to. Mm-hmm. And so one day they come randomly and they're just like, remember the school you said you wanted to go to? I'm like, yes. They're like, well, we found your sponsor. I'm like, who? They say, well, we won't tell you her name. She doesn't want to be known. Yeah. But you just need to write her a letter and say thank you. And wow. she sponsored my first two years of high school at a private school before my parents were called back to Zimbabwe to work for the university and they could now afford it. You know, stories on the internet could be very deceiving because every time I've read that Lulu did her high school at some, you know, bougie school in Zim, and in, I just thought maybe you grew up a soft life. How would you describe your upgre- upbringing? Oh, no, it wasn't soft. Not at all. No, no. It, I, okay. But you weren't, you weren't poor, poor. We were as not well. like dirt, dirt poor, yeah. but like we, my dad was a truck driver. Okay. Um, okay, let me give you a backstory. I always start with this story whenever I'm telling like... Look, look at me folding my legs right now. <laughs> <laughs> whenever it's I start interesting. like it's a motivational talk, especially with young people, I'm yeah. always like, oh, I'm going to tell you a story about this young couple. They didn't do too well in grade 12. And then they went, um, 
you know, an uncle gave the nephew like a place to stay and you work on the farm. They had to go collecting water and stuff like that. Then the wife gets pregnant and she's in labor. They don't have a car. So he has to ride a bicycle eight kilometers to the main road with the woman in labor on the back. My and word. then they hitchhike to UTH. And that's the day I was born. Wow. So... <laughs> What you that is like <laughs> my you know, story yeah. but what? my like my parents loved the finer things in life so yeah. despite having that you know uh, mom got a job in you know in the sda church headquarters <clears throat> as a receptionist and then managed to get dad a job as initially he was just like the maintenance guy and then he became the driver. So he would be moving pastas from one city to the other. Um, a pastor wants to buy a car in Botswana. That time Botswana was big for secondhand cars. Yeah. Then he would be the driver to go and pick it up. But you can buy my dad's book online. It's called In the Hand of God on <laughs> Amazon. It has the full deets on the story. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's where I come from. And then the singing um, was just a thing. They, they saw that I love to sing. And um, you know, we started singing. We sang on TV when I was six. I've got, I've got two, two in one questions here. Yeah. About your upbringing. Uh. And it's, it's, it's tied into what you just mentioned, the singing. Yeah. At six years old, you sang for the president. Yes. So he saw us on TV. Kenneth Kaunda. Yeah. He saw you on TV. He saw us on TV. What, did, what did this do for you, singing for the president? I mean. What he said to me. Yeah. Afterwards is yeah. what changed my life. Exactly. Like, what did it do? To, what did it? How did it shape who you are today? Well, he told me. Well, firstly, me, what did he say to you? So yeah. he told me I'm gonna be great. Wow. So first of all, like you, you sing and you are told. So firstly, mm -hmm. we heard about us going. To, we didn't even know we we're going state house. They just announced on ZNBC what? radio and TV. Lulu Angala and Mr. You know Victor Angala come to the studios. Yeah. Then we're told go this side, but we're told protocol. You sing and get out of there. <laughs> you walk this way. No you loitering. Get, Get yeah, the, get the F but we are singing <laughs> and we are getting to the ending note and Mama Betty is like literally doing like a little run to me. Yeah, and KK is like standing and Dad is like, I think just just stand, just stand, just don't, move, don't, move, don't move. They're coming to us. Just don't move. And I'm like, okay. And then he comes. Um, Mama Betty hugs me. He comes and he does the handkerchief thing and the says, blessing. "You're going to be great." Guys, I carried that with me. I yeah. still carry it with me to this day. That did something to six-year-old me. Yeah. There was no question. I had to be great. You know, there's something about that age and when you're told something. My brother lied to me about something. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow, it's what's helped me you know, achieve a number mm. of things that I've achieved in my life. My brother told me when I was born in uh, 27th October 1985. Mm -hmm. This is like years later. I think I was like six or seven years old. Mm. And he tells me the day you were born, Haley's Comet passed in the sky. You know Haley's Comet, okay. the star that passes yes. around Earth. Mm -hmm. I think it's like every 75 years or something. Mm -hmm. And he tells me, I really feel you're a special person because the day you were born, Haley's Comet passed. Like we were, we're actually told even to, uh, they were told to knock off from school that day uh -huh. to go and see the star passing mm -hmm. by Earth that mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like I was special because, I mean, if it happened the time I was born, I must be special. Uh-huh. And throughout my life, I just felt like I was a special person. And then one day I do research and I find Haley's comment did not pass on that. But you believed But I believed it. And yeah. I always believed I can't fail because of that. Yeah. So I think it, it's sort of the point, same. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and Lulu's point, what I wanted to say is because you grew up believing that you're special yeah. because of the comment, because she grew up from six years, six years old believing that she was going to make it because of what KK said. Yeah. There's something about knowing that or believing that that if you're going to walk into an interview for an example you're going to exude this confidence because in the back of your mind you're kk special. told me that i'm going to be special yeah. in the back of your mind i'm different because a comet passed, passed. on the day i was born yeah. so you you act the part yeah do you know what i mean yeah and because you act the part you attract yes that positivity so because help me understand one thing you know what effect kk's words had on you mm -hmm. How much of that are you doing for your kids? So it's so important to me, not just for my kids. And yeah. this is something that I've carried with me. I have a responsibility to do that yeah. for the next generation. Yeah. Like I, like I really do have that responsibility. So you'll find so many people saying, Lulu, remember the first time you met me and you said this about me? I love to tell you what I see in you when I meet you. Yeah. I think I've, to I've, 
I've told you something like that before. When I met you the first the time. The first time. Backstage. Yes. Mostly awards. Yes. Yeah. And I was just like, you got something. <laughs> you got something special. Whenever I see something special in someone, I will tell you. Yeah. No matter what age you are, I, I believe that you need to verbalize it. Yeah. And a lot of us sometimes keep that to ourselves. Oh, this person is going to get a big head or this person. No, I will tell you because I understand the power of those words on I someone's remember, life. I remember like it was yesterday. We're backstage. Most of was. And she said that. And I felt so nice. And afterwards, I went and asked people like, because I, I, I wasn't living in Osaka mm-hmm. then. So I didn't know what Lulu was about or who Lulu was. All I knew is everywhere I went, people spoke so highly of you. Aww. And I would ask, <laughs> who's Lulu? Like, what does she do? And somebody said, Lulu is the sort of lady you want your daughter to become. Wow. Oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Ah. And that, remember, that's what I told you today as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was asking, who's Lulu? Oh, she's crying, guys. Come on. Uh, see what you, you make our guests cry. <laughs> I'm, right? the, I'm the onion in the relationship. <laughs> Future guests, we are sorry. Not, not all the time you're going to be made to cry. <laughs> no, but I, I did tell you today because he was asking, who's Lulu? I was like, no, no. Really? Lulu is somebody who you want your daughter to become. Speaking Aww. of daughter, mm. um, you had your firstborn out of wedlock. Does that affect... You had your firstborn out of wedlock. Does that affect, from that point on, your mental health as a woman, you know, thinking maybe you will not make it in life? Um, yeah, it messes you up, especially when, when, when it happens in the way it did. Yeah. Yeah, it was my first time. Your first time having a child? No, my first, first time. time. She lost her virginity, dude. Come on. I lost my I virginity and got pregnant. And it's <laughs> too <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the first you. time. Wow. Are you serious? So I had been this good girl for the longest time. Yeah. And then the you sort of time. decide to go off what has always been your thing. Uh-huh. And you say, oh, you know, I'm old enough now. I've got my degree. I'm working. I've met a great person. Um, and then, boom, you're pregnant. And I could instantly tell there was something wrong. Like, yeah. I get sick from the first week. There's no hiding it with right. me. My pregnancy is, you, you can't hide. I get so sick. Were you still in your parents' house then? No, 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 no. I was okay. living on my own. Right. I was independent. Right. And shockingly, when I told my parents, they were so supportive. These were pastors. And... Yeah. I just couldn't believe the response to me, but that helped me. Yeah. Their response to me, and I think they understood what it would have done if they tried to react in any other way. Yeah. I remember t- screaming and crying to my dad, Dad, just shout at me, just shout at me. Oh, cry, you do something. And he's like, no, you have been a good girl. You've been responsible. You yeah. are working. You're on your own. We're not going to suffer because you've got a child. Oh, you're already working. I was about to ask how old, how old you so were So a lot of people thought I was like 16 or 14 high school, or yeah. high school because yeah. I was on a TV show for kids. <laughs> But I looked like a kid. But I was 21 with a... No, actually, I was 24 with a degree. I started Uh. working at 21. But everyone, you know, I meet people who are like, I've known you since you were a baby, hey? When you started on movie TV. And I'm like, I wasn't a baby. (laughs) You still (laughs) have a baby face. Dude, like really. Yeah, Yeah, I know. Yeah. Guys, my 40th and bash she's 30, is going to be huge. And she's 37 I want to celebrate today. the youth. She's, 30, she's 37. No, she's Yeah, not. I am. She is 37. <laughs> are, you, are you for real? Yeah. <laughs> Don't they ask you for your ID whenever you want to get into a club? So I always wonder, okay, so you're meeting me for the first time. Is it immaturity or is it a young face? Because people always are like, to do with how oh, I didn't expect you to be that age. And I'm like... <laughs> mm, yeah. Do I need to start acting older? Like, what is it that well, you're I'm You're vibrant. Right? You do look young. So that works in your favor. Uh, I think you and Pharrell go to the same church. <laughs> same WhatsApp group. Same WhatsApp group. <laughs> and Tom Cruise there, we add him in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been forgetting to eat my food. Eh? Yeah, can you just have a bite? Can you have a bite? But yeah, so... What did Mr. Woods change? prepared. Exactly. Yeah. But when you talk about like changing me and my mental health, yeah. I was a mess after like during the pregnancy, yeah. after the pregnancy, I had to deal with the public thinking I was a kid and outrightly mm. telling me when they met me in person. Yeah. My mom and dad lived in Mons at the time. My parents decided my mom should move to Lusaka wow. because they're just like, no, something is going to, you know, something is going to happen here. So I'm glad they were aware of my mental health in that moment and that they were the support I needed. Like my mom literally moved to Lusaka to be with me During and the walk with me. Yeah, she would walk with me around the mall and she would see it firsthand. A woman saying, you disappointed us. 
So what am I supposed to do to my daughter now? I'm Damn. Just like, your daughter is 10, I'm 24. I'm 24, but you can't explain yourself. Yeah. And at that time also, respect to to him. <clears throat> um, my partner at the time was very clear. I, I don't want to be an active parent if you choose to have this pregnancy. Mm. We are in a different place now. We're all good. But yeah. in that, like for the longest time, it was... You and you're the only person that this child is going to look up to. You're the only one who's going to have to do stuff for her. So it was hard. Um, but I'm grateful for my support system. Guys, like my church. Oh, my goodness. Brentwood yeah. Church. Thank you so much. I'm not as active. I know. But, you know, I got God in me still. And online church has been helpful. Um, but yeah. <laughs> thank you to my church, yeah. to my mom and all her friends. Today we've buried one of them. Like I just came from a funeral and oh, yeah, I remember one of my mom's yeah. friends who was such a huge support during that period. They kept me sane. They made me believe I could do it with or without a man. Yeah. So here's a question, Lulu, <clears throat> based of what you're saying. How much of um, the sex that kids have do you think, did your parents speak to you about sex? Firstly, number one. Number two is the lady who saw you in the street and said, you've disappointed me. How? What am I supposed to tell my daughter? I feel like parents now are too lazy to parent. right? So because they see Lulu has got a child now, um, and my daughter looked up to Lulu, now my daughter is going to come to me and I'm going to have to have a difficult conversation with my daughter. And yet that's your role as a parent is to parent. Exactly. So how much of that do you think parents need to have that talk with their child? Yeah. Um, Are you giving your daughter the talk? Oh, yeah. we oh, Shame. We embarrass her. She always tells us, <laughs> guys, you're embarrassing me. Like, okay, guys, it's too much. But answer his question first. Though. I mean, listen, we need to do more as parents. Yeah. We need to do more as a church. I was brought up as a pastor's child in a very conservative church. The pressure. But I feel that um, the conversations need to be had. And I'm very vocal about this. I have spoken on church platforms about this, not uh -huh. just locally, but globally, uh -huh. to say I feel that the religious bodies need to do more when it comes to comprehensive sexuality education. And in Zambia, a lot of the church religious, some of, okay, not a lot, some of the religious bodies and some of our, you know, leadership politically, I think I saw something last week where someone is like, our children shouldn't be learning comprehensive sexuality education in primary school and high school. And I'm like, who's going to teach them? Who's the going to teach them then? Like, where do you want them to learn from? <clears throat> yep. I mean, it's great to have, you know, God loves you. You are a child of God. Do the right thing. But what if I don't? Yeah. What are my choices? Okay, you're telling a man wear a condom. I think that is what is preached mostly. Not preached. In churches, they just say abstain. But what if they don't abstain? That's it. What are we telling them? Mm -hmm. and, and then you find like even issues of HIV. I'm a UNAIDS Goodwill Ambassador and just learning more about stats. I really, I have a heart to speak more, especially to the religious groups, just because Zambia is a Christian nation. Yeah. So they've got a huge influence on the young people. We need to be a bit more real about what we are telling them. And as parents, also talk about this stuff. I know it's embarrassing, but I will. There are some um, young men on this farm. I remember one of them. I just straight up told him, I'm like, oh, yeah, with a girl, I've seen you. Use protection. And like two months <laughs> later, he comes. He's like, mommy, I wish you had told me earlier. She's pregnant. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm that open. Like, I've got no filter. Yeah. Because I felt I had too many filters. I had grown up in the church. Totally good girl. But also... I needed to know what my choices yeah. were at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, guys, let's talk about the morning after pill. I didn't even know about that. I didn't know that existed. So do you give, your, do, do you give your daughter all these lessons, though? Well, the ones that are old enough, yes, I do. But even her, like, I talk about it. I'm very straight. I know she watches these interviews. Yeah. I'm very straight. She's yeah. going to hear it. Mm -hmm. But I had a choice in that moment, but I didn't know. But she's a beautiful girl. I'm just curious, like how her. much of <laughs> how much of this comprehensive sex education are you giving to your daughter? Condoms, morning after pills. Like um, I am trying to give them as much as, as I much can. As much as possible. Like because I know what it did for me yeah. once I had that information. I had power. And I always say this when you know about your sexuality, it yeah. gives you power. Yep. And I feel men know more about their sexuality than women do. 
Yes. And yes. I also chose vice versa, considering mm. women mature faster. And, you know. No, no, no. We are not given enough information. And there's too many cultural beliefs also that are influencing then the choices that we make, what we do to our bodies for and, you. And most of it for comes... For you men. And most of it comes just a, 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 a month before the wedding, innit? Ah, <laughs> uh, No. They come actually much, much earlier. You've heard of the pulling. You've heard... I mean, there's so yeah. many different cultural things. I'm just saying things. the bulk of it they, comes before the wedding. It comes before the wedding. But I will tell you, there's some that comes as you get your period. And oh, yeah. you get it from multiple sources. Mm-hmm. And I'm not only talking for the girl in the urban area. I'm also talking for the girl in the rural area. There's a huge, big lessons that go on as you come of age, as they say, as you start your period. Uh-huh. So anyways, I'm just very strong in that. I just feel we need to educate more as parents, traditional leaders, especially the the aunties in the communities, yeah. whether in the urban areas or the rural areas, we need to do more. Or else our generation will be lost. And, and you, they won't be empowered. And especially for the women, we need to empower our girls. We need to empower our women. They need to know they've got a choice. Yeah. True. Elson is itching to ask, I know. We came in, your hubby, you know, t- t- took very good care of us. And I think I need more of that. Uh, you and I both? Gin and tonic. Yeah. Okay. Um, or more berry for me. I don't uh, can, can, can I trust her in your fridge? Can I trust her? Yeah, num- trust me. I think it's in the freezer. That's not really working. Yeah. But today I got a new f- I got a new fridge. Today, guys, I'm sorry. I got a new fridge. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's not yet here. No, 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 no. Hey. It's not yet here. It's not yet here. Oh, it's, it's not, not this, yet it's in not the house. It's all oh, changing. This is dope. Guys, it's a, thank it's a, it's you. It's a nice fridge as well. What are you doing with the old fridge? better. Oh, that's going into Wood Kitchen too. But this, like what I have, like guys, DeFi just... Hooked me up. Ba, 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 ba. Hooked a girl up. She's got a I new now, fridge. Guys, wait, wait, wait. Have... They gave you a free fridge. Well. I want to be Lulu Hangala when I grow up. And right? stove. And a stove. Five plate gas cooker with the freaking what? electric oven. What do I need which to... Which has a rotisserie. I am going next level. Let us let us seize this opportunity. That camera, my man. <laughs> Defy. <laughs> Defy. <laughs> Defy. Please tag yeah. Defy. No. Yes. No, what, what do you want from them? Sponsorship. Ah, DeFi, guys, you heard. Southgate Investments, say right. Right. What's his name? Southgate Investments. Yeah, but who's the guy responsible? Southgate Investments. <laughs> Southgate Investments. <laughs> Here's your opportunity. Yeah. Right? To reach more. Sponsorship. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. As you were. You're welcome. <laughs> you see, that's how I work too. I seize the opportunity when I can. <laughs> mm-hmm. So before I rudely interrupted the interview. Yes. With my... Is my drink ready? Uh, uh, just... B- just do one for now. I, I really want him to ask sensible questions. <laughs> Speaking of a sensible question. No alcohol for him. Just, just juice. Lulu. Yeah. I, I know there's something called the reticular activating system in your brain where if you just whisper and the person who loves you is nearby, they'll hear you. We need Mr. Wood here right now. Honey. You and hubby celebrated, what, five years of marriage, yeah? Yes. Congratulations. Ooh, thank you. I'd love to know about the years prior to the five years starting, but just... Before the marriage. How did you meet? Yeah. yeah. Did you play hard to get? Um, Rumor has it your mom was your wingman. His uh, wingman. Yeah. No, my mom and my cousins and his aunt. Were his wingmen. Yeah. (laughs) Did they form like a WhatsApp group? Uh, No, they met and they were like my mom and my cousins were talking about me. And then his aunt heard. And then she's like, you know what? I've been looking for somebody for my son. An arranged item. Yeah. That sounds like a good chick. And then he hears like, hey, we found a girl for you to marry. I'm like... Mom, what are you talking about? No, we found you a husband. I'm like, are you serious? You. <laughs> In those words. Yes. But if, so if she had no opportunity no. Yeah. to play hard to get. Yeah. No, I did. You did? Yeah, I did. I did. So she kept on begging, Lulu, can we give them your number? I'm like, nope. <laughs> For like a month. And mm-hmm. then he was given um, he was given my number and he also played hard to get. His what? friend. Did was, he send your photo? No. Oh, he had So he then. didn't know Mr. Me. Wood. Hey, honey. Honey, you, honey, <laughs> you played hard to get. <laughs> yeah, you didn't call me for like two weeks, right? You got her phone number and you did not call immediately? No. Ah, he's gangster. No. no. You didn't know. Like, we both played hard to get, and that's nice. Yeah, At least we can brag about that. <laughs> Wait, so from yeah. your perspective, so she's already told us. Mm-hmm. What yeah. did she tell you? That so you played hard to I, get? I'm sure your stories will match. No, my <laughs> <laughs> So in the end, we had a blind date. Right. Yeah. Where, where was this? Where did you guys go? Uh, zebra Crossing at the time. You know where yeah. Italy is now? Uh-huh. On uh, Greatest Road? Right. Yeah, that's where we met. So, two hours in after meeting. Two and a half. Two and a half hours. hours. Yeah. yeah, we spoke pretty much the whole afternoon. So wow. Crazy. It's amazing. So, wait, so you, you, know, you met the first day that you spoke? 
No, like no. a week later? You know, it was just, but just general. Because I called her up and uh-huh. I told her, listen, I'm coming down to Lusaka. Let's Where meet. I, was, I lived in Chipata for the longest time, like uh-huh. about six years. Right. Mm-hmm. So I told her, I said, listen, I'm coming down. Let's have uh, lunch and then we'll take you from there. Uh-huh. So true, yes. I mean, first So uh, wait, she, time, she's, she said yeah. you played hard to get. No, we played hard. We played hard to get for each other. <laughs> So why were you both skitting when you knew what you wanted? You know what? I didn't want to actually get into a relationship at the time. He was I got broken. out of a bad one. <laughs> Not a bad one, but just a new <laughs> relationship. And a bad you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it was too fresh. And I was just like, you know what? Uh, Let me and take then my time. My friend was just at the time. He was like, you know what? You don't owe anybody any explanation. Yeah. Go sit down, have a chat. If you do not vibe with this person, it's just a date. That's it. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. I had up. given up on yeah. me. Like, I was just like, they're Who trash. Who you, boo-boo? Oh, so hmm. many. I could write a book. <laughs> I could write a book about who hurt me, but... So what, you, you're, <laughs> looking at, you're looking at women? No, William, I wasn't there when yet. You gave up on men. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, wh- what was your first impression? Um. So, when he was on the phone, I think he... Okay, we both were in a place where we were like... Ugh. It's family trying to hook us up. This is not mm. going to turn out yeah. good. So we were both very reluctant. We we're talking, but with that, we're not, we're not I'm Indians. Like, he, I'm like, he seems boring. He sent me a picture. And because of what hey, I had in my mind, he looked like an old man. <laughs> so I walk into the restaurant and I start walking past him. because, And in my mind, I'm just like, you're looking for an old guy. I'm like, that's such a hot man. She, and I start walking past him. He's like, like that she, she was Luyando. into, into the, that <laughs> demographic of old white men yeah listen it's okay time. i had a type Old oh, it was you. and he wasn't the type no it, it you know what i William? can't say that you can't say that like behave <laughs> yeah they were not really old old though like also you had a history of dating older guys <laughs> they were not like so old like i dated some like black guys <laughs> answer the question and and older, you older, dated older older men no the black guys were not old is it? They were young. But they were like, what, like 60s? No, the other guys were not guys. That's so racist. Like, I said 60s. That's so racist. No. I mean, one. <laughs> How was the first date? What, what did you take her? Did she take you? Well, Zebra Crossing. First date, yeah. we agreed to meet. So I obviously made the plans. Okay. So we met at Zebra Crossing. Yeah. And then the second one was when? Didn't you come down to Chipata? No, no, no. Mm-mm. No, don't you always... No, no, we've, no. That's we've got the way. The we've got no, the no, way. Twist the story. Yeah. I, came, I came back, what, about you a came month back, later? Somewhere? And then we went to... You came home and you met Asa for the first time. Yes, yes. And then you and took then me to Mint Lounge. Same weekend, we came home for dinner. Yeah, so you took yeah. me to Mint Lounge for lunch and then he's like, I'm taking you out for dinner. Mm-hmm. And it was here at the farm with his parents and his whole family. That was wow. weird for me. I'm no like, okay, you, this guy is this just jumping <laughs> straight. Yeah. He just yeah. jumped straight into I'm marrying this girl. Like, I was that hard. But wait, that this, this was the second date. You know what? Yeah. I've always grown up with what mom and dad have always told me. It's like, no, you know okay, what? just tell the truth. <laughs> I was the one. L- let me finish. You, you, well, you're still here, isn't it? <laughs> so, <laughs> so what mom and dad always said is like, you know what? I, we don't mind you dating or whatever it is. Yeah. But if you want us to meet somebody, there's no pressure. Bring them home. Let's have a meal. If things don't work out, fine. They don't it work, didn't out. work out. Didn't work out. Yeah. So we're like, you know what? Come down. Let's have um, let's have a meal together. And then obviously, in, in typical cultural kind of Zambian yeah. aspect, it's just like, ooh, you're going to the house. It must be serious. But I was like, you know what? I'm comfortable enough. We have in a relationship. Yeah. Let's go down, meet mom and dad. If things did they like out, her? They did. From 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 the onset. They did. Especially that she had natural short hair, I guess. <laughs> wow. She did, huh? Wow. Did. No, I, no, but no. That time I was still in the long, in the wigs. No, no but I no, met the you dinner. in the... Oh, no, no, in no. The natural you are hair. right, you yes. are right. The dinner. You paid. Dinner was, yeah. Natural hair. No, natural no, no, hair. He paid for my haircut. He paid, like, because yeah. I wanted to cut my hair and yeah. start, like, doing natural hair. So, yeah, that was... I just had a feeling. Lulu strikes me as a type. She does strike me as a type. Who will show up to a, a dinner with the parents. Right. Short hair. Short hair, right? And the fact that she's not bleached. Work as a... Pl- <laughs> <laughs> the fact that she's not bleached worked as a plus on your part, right? It did. It, it did. did. All with natural. Your, with your parents, especially. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Do, you, do you get oh, to a baby. point where you feel like I must be... Such a loser that my parents are now trying to set me up. Am I such a <laughs> am I a lost cause that they sit and they discuss me like okay, so we're gonna discuss rent, 
you know what, what are we gonna do with Lulu? It did cross my <laughs> mind. It did that. cross my mind. I was like, you know what, my aunt all the way from the UK <laughs> has felt so sorry for me <laughs> that she had to set me up. It's like this nigga ain't getting married <laughs> ever. <laughs> I, I I sort of understood them. I sort of like understood why my mom was so desperate. She just felt like, you know what? It's like, you need to get married. I, I, I don't know. Like, we're going to try every tactic. And if this is the only tactic to get you married, that's fine. So, yeah. so, so here's a question. So I'll just let you go now. It'll seem like a really crappy question. But so, so you met she had a daughter already. Yes. Yeah. yes. There's a lot of guys mm-hmm. yeah. that for whatever damn reason... That's a put off. True. The middle chick, they like everything about her. But the second that she says, oh, but I have a daughter, deuces. Mm-hmm. But you see, it's very funny. The first conversation we had at Zebra Crossing, yeah. she was very open about it. Yeah. I was like, listen, I've got a child. Mm-hmm. This is the situation. Did you, you have a child then? No, not mm-hmm. no, not yet. Anyway. <coughs> not that I know. Not that you know of. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might just left. get a 21-year-old. I might have left something. <laughs> <laughs> in no, in Australia. <laughs> Some little Asian. <laughs> so no, I mean, she was race. she was very honest off the bat, which I appreciated about her. And I met her son and I'm just like, you know what? There is no reason for me to hate this child or get put off, whatever it is. Yeah. We are vibing with this person. Package deal. At the end of the day, and for the longest time, eh, children for me. I was yeah. Just, yeah, he ah, never I wanted was, kids. It really? Was not, yeah, I was very he met me. stuck in my profession. Yeah. And I really which loved was? it. I, which was? Hospitality at right. the time. So, right. I mean, hours were crazy. I just didn't have a lot of time for a lot of extra yeah, at the end of, of the day. Yeah. So, I was just like, you know what? If it happens, it happens. But really and truly, my choice is be a professional. Mm. Excel in my profession. Yeah. And that was where I was getting my bus from. Right, of course. So, yeah, the rest is history. I mean, now we've added on Mr. Caleb. <laughs> were, you, were you worried that the daughter wasn't going to like you? Or you were not going to get along? Was that ever... Not so an issue you for you? You know what? It, it's, it's so, it's so <laughs> weird because you know the first... Oh, you never asked that, Lulu. The first... No, just because of how they vibed. Yeah. Uh-huh. From yeah. the... From yeah, the... because we had we had um, the movie and then she was like, Mom, the first time we're going for the movie, the first weekend. Yeah. You know, I fall asleep in movies. <laughs> you and I both. In the... in the You know, just as it started. Best before place it even to sleep. Starts. Next and she time. was like, Mom, your boyfriend, <laughs> your boyfriend <laughs> is sleeping in the movie. <laughs> Oh, but that morning, remember, you had slept over. Yeah. After I'd said, yeah. We had decided we're going to wait 90 days. <clears throat> yeah. You had but, to go to work. But then, no, no, no. Yes. I was, baby, I was still sleeping and you woke up and she was in the no. sitting room and you made her food. What happens is that you had to go out for something. So it was yeah. a Sunday night. Woke up, made a sandwich. I was even thinking I'm making the best sandwich in the world. <laughs> the child looks, bites it. Just put, I don't like this bread you've used. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. <laughs> And I'm like, you know, this is the real test now. Yeah, I need to gain brownie <laughs> points on the daughter. Right. <laughs> and then, yeah, rustled up something else for her. And the rest is history. I think we're, the, we're best mates. I'd love to yeah. talk about, you know, something more intimate. Of, co- of mm. course, those, the, those experiences when you guys just met. Mm. Right. Let's talk about the sparks. The first kiss. Mm. How was that? How do you describe it? Let me start with Mr. Wood. Yeah. Uh, she do gave, you remember? She was it? talking about 90 days, mm-hmm. <laughs> which ended up in... Ten uh, days? No, no, hold on. Ten days. It's about ten days. It's just four of us in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's Listen, it's just, it's I had just us. read Steve Harvey's book and I had always been <laughs> that like girl. <laughs> and um, listen. Yeah. So 90 days. Ten weekend. Days, nine. Three days. Three days? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I traveled from Chipacha <laughs> six hours. <laughs> no BS. No, guys, listen. Can't go back I'll, with okay, nothing. Ma- 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 God, that's not what she said. <laughs> I hope we're not going to get you in trouble. No, um, okay, so listen. Because we're going to leave. No, uh, <laughs> no, 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 you guys, like, we are realists. Like, we're just realists. But, you know, I think our our connection was just so good and there was yeah. just something about it and even as we spoke so the first day then a month later you came back so it was right. three days after he came back after yeah. the second date and i remember us being very that one month that he went away being very intentional about yeah. like what we were talking about like mm-hmm. the type of relationship we wanted to be in but it was deeper than i'd ever been with yeah. anybody we had never had mm-hmm. those discussions and so when he came like it was just like <sighs> Lighting shining up. The guy, he is the one, and I think we were both feeling that way. So it was like just sparks from. It was. Yeah. We spent the whole weekend together. Yeah, and every Crazy. other. Yeah, we. Have they answered my question? Party though. together. 
What did what, no. what? the first kiss? The first kiss. How was it the was first that, kiss? It, it, it was eleven. No, years. actually, no, 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 no. So you <coughs> no, went. You, I went back. When you came back from Chipata, yeah. the that's the thing. I never even thought about it because I think because of how we were communicating, mm-hmm. you drove in. I jumped on you and we kissed. Oh, that that was the second time wait, we were meeting wait. at PHI. home. PHI. PHI. Yeah, and PHI. Asante was your behind home. me. Yes, yeah. in my home. Mm-hmm. Asante and, is your daughter. Oh uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So she was like right behind me and for the first time I didn't care. I just <laughs> jumped on this man and wow. kissed him like he had always been there. Oh, look at oh, you. Okay. And this is just the <laughs> second the, the second meeting. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So and at what point did you realize that she's fast? She's the one. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> You know what? I she's think when fast. I when I got back the second time, yeah. yeah. Oh, the second time. Went back to, yeah. yeah. I actually just said, you know what? Let's formalize things. You know what I mean? If we're dating, let's be exclusive. Right. I told her straight up. Like, so yeah. this is after the first meeting, then you went back to Chipata. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So I went back. I even, I mean, we were chatting, WhatsApp, whatever it was. And I was like, you know what? I, let's just date yeah. officially mm-hmm. and not leave any other room for nonsense. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> and then she was just like, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's cool. Let's whatever it was. And then psh, that was it. So what's the conversation like with the other side chicks? Because you know, in Chipata, there's always like... <laughs> <laughs> sip, sip, sip. What's the conversation like? I was like, guys, no, no more, no more stay over. No more panky. No more brides at the house. <laughs> I, I no more meeting at blue gums. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought there was still like other people inside, you know, <laughs> blue gums, right? So I did a surprise trip. Um, oh, you, you didn't fully trust him, right? <laughs> you know, I did, but I was like, you know, you never know. So this trip and it it's was 10 percent yeah right. that 10 percent, yeah <laughs> i was like you know i just need to make sure and then i tried to book a flight and they're like there's no flights to chipata anymore you have to mm-hmm. go through fuwe right. damn i'm like okay now how am i going to get from fuwe i'm like lulu you got this you're a hustler you find, you'll find a way you find a way so flew in talk to everybody on the flight hey, you look good <laughs> where are you going after this <laughs> then this like, one guy's like oh i'm going to chipata i'm like can i hit you right he's like yes then he's asked me, so what are you going to Chipata for? And I tell him, he's like, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it, Nick. And my whole family, like my family, I, I put it into the family group. And my uncles, aunts, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to surprise my man. All the men are like, don't, don't do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> do, no, do. <laughs> do not do it. I'm like, listen, Let this guys. poor man know. I'm like, no, 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 I'm just going to do it. But now I took a cab to find, I got into Chipata, took a yeah. cab home. Mm-hmm. And now I was scared. So from the gate, I start. William. <laughs> <laughs> I really said a yelling out his name from the game. <laughs> and no response. I'm like, damn. Now he's kicking her out. She's like <laughs> going to the back door. Lulu, why did you do this? And I finally get to the door and him and his friend are blacked out. Not a female friend. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. They might have like it maybe he played it nice. So so you yeah. walk in and he and he sees you. No, he was I was, fast I was so confused. I mean he I wake fast up asleep, I had to and then I'm up. like I just, this is not Kosaka, is it? This is not like, I was like, you know, you're supposed to be excited. I was supposed I was like, to be in Kitwe, remember? I what, what said I was trying to be in Kitwe. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, be honest, part of you was like, <laughs> if she's capable of this. Uh, no. <laughs> it was so weird because, I mean, even who's this, um, Kaz. At the yeah, time, that Kaz was there. My roommate at the time. It was just like, you know what? She's good people. We chilled the whole weekend. Like, right. the two of us, whatever yeah. it was. And it yeah. was just, it was easy vibes. You know what I mean? Beautiful. I was just like, you know what? There were feeling yeah. vibes. But still, you haven't answered my question. <laughs> At what point did you realize this is it? It's the one. This is it. Because you just told me that you texted and you said, let's be yeah. exclusive. When I, when I got back, yeah. for me to actually text, mm-hmm. that was me just saying, you know what? I think a lot of boxes have been ticked here. Mm-hmm. And I think whether or not we make it or not, let's, this is where I want to be. And that was it. From there. Oh, so when you went back to Chipata after yeah. the first meeting? That second time. The second time, second time, after she jumped on you and kissed exactly. you. Exactly. So it was the kiss, wasn't it? Was very excited. It was the kiss, wasn't it? I don't know about the, the kiss. The kiss worked. It was, uh, something else. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh my God, you guys I are getting that. like I caught stuff that. out of us that we never really... <laughs> I love it though. This was a Zed podcast. Great question, Zed podcast. Yep. I'll just take a sip of my drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's getting hot. It's getting hot. It's getting hot no, in but her. you know what? Like, I think so you're clearly for us, talented. it's like we've been desperate. <laughs> very talented. Talented. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm sure a lot of chicks will learn a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they have learned a lot. No, it, it doesn't always work out that way. No, so it did uh, for you though. I think for for us it worked, and it was just about you know how yeah. we were. 
I found my best friend, my lover. Oh, true, true. And true. I'm just so grateful for him. Nice. Aww. Can we jump? Uh, oh, of course, there was the dating and the engagement yeah. and the weddings and all that. Can we jump to Wood Kitchen? How did that come about, though? You know, funny enough, we've always loved cooking. I think she's probably that out before. Yeah. So Lulu started sharing a lot of her baking online. Yeah. And I was just that idiot husband in the background, just messing around with the videos and you know, doing all sorts of nonsense. <laughs> and then there was the one time she's like, you know what, you know food. Why don't you just tag along and just, it's for fun. Mm-hmm. And then from there, people were just like, you know what, we actually love what you guys do. We're yeah. quite interested. We like the dynamic and whatnot. And then she kept on pushing and I was very... I was like, you know, very like, He didn't I don't believe we do could it. make like a great working relationship. Oh. Yeah, so I mean, I was still stuck in my whole professional side of things and whatnot. And then I was just like, you know, what the hell? Let's try it. And I, we started doing a couple of videos together. And, mm-hmm. you know, momentum, like just kept on going, going. Mm-hmm. And then COVID hit. And then basically my contract was coming to an end. Yeah. There was a non-renew of the contract. I wasn't even going to renew the bloody contract because I think I had enough at the time. <laughs> so it was just, it, it all worked out, so to speak, because COVID hit, everybody was stuck at home. Everybody had a laptop or a phone in their hands. It's just like, oh, content, Zambian grown content. Oh, these people are quite interesting. You know? yeah. And then we just kept on banging out the content. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's something that we, it's not like, oh, Let's look for a new recipe and whatever it is. It's uh-huh. things that we used to cook yeah. in the house. It's like literally, it, yeah. and that's what's fun about <clears throat> it. We were cooking what we're eating. Yeah. Right. yeah. Ah. And we're not even trying to be bougie mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. We just literally share so, like what, what like, we what, enjoy. like what you just gave us today that's what you guys would do yeah that's it's, like it's a bougie typical though, without even no, trying. No, 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 no. <laughs> without even trying. That's like a typical it's Woods been a hectic meal. day. Yes. It's That's quick a and easy. That's a typical quick and point. easy. Like, we'll have that, like, twice a week. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah. it spiraled. And, I mean, we're so grateful with all yeah. the support that we've got locally and internationally as well. So, I mean, the rest is history. I mean, we just keep on reinventing ourselves and being yeah. more relevant. So, yeah. And fighting less. Yes. Yeah. True. You know, I asked that question because, Lulu, you've always struck me as somebody who's more of a microphone person. I thought maybe at this point in your life you'd have been, you know, owning like an online radio station, a TV station, things like mm-hmm. that. I'm not saying what you're doing is not big. I'm just mm-hmm. saying I would have thought you have gone more towards that line. Mm-hmm. Food? Eh, I mean, you've sang, you sang for KK. <laughs> I thought you'd be doing albums by now. You know oh, what I but, mean? But the food got us onto Meta. I know that's what I'm saying. Like, but you see, like, like, how, how did we end yeah. up that way? When you've always know, been a person on the microphone, you know what I mean? It's passion. Yeah. It's passion. Oh, you've always been cooking in the background. As I've you... always just loved yeah. food. I've loved good food. I've been exposed to lots of cultures, so very multicultural cuisine that yeah. I love. Mm-hmm. And then something about us when we're dating is we cook together. We loved to cook together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there was opportunity also in that space. So it came naturally initially. I was just sharing what I'm passionate about. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And people were now asking for us to say, like, do something about it. But I was still doing something I'm passionate about with another passion. The content creation is my passion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So curating that content yeah. is not easy. Yeah. The reels that you see on Instagram are self-shot. No way. I edit that stuff. Mm. Looks so professional. <laughs> that like the reels, yeah. that is us on his yeah. X, iPhone X. <laughs> On oh, that I, little I, I counter put, there. On his ex. On his ex. I'm like, yo. Oh, okay. Of course, yeah. No. What's no. in this drink? No. <laughs> I know the same thing too. What's in this drink? <laughs> so yeah, it's like, it's still bringing two of my passions together mm-hmm. and his, his expertise too. But even more so, if I, I'll just interject obviously now. A lot of people have a misconception of, oh, this is the media person, this, yeah, this and that. Yeah. But now, obviously, obviously we know the real Lulu. Oh, I know the real Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> and she's somebody who's very caring and accommodating as well because a lot of the time, even now, we've seen the, the dynamic between her, her brothers, her sister and whatnot. Yeah. So it's someone who loves to host genuinely and she actually oh. go out of her way to actually do a lot of <laughs> things, so which is <clears throat> basically how we grew up as well at yeah. the farm because Christmas lunch, yeah. New Year's, like dinner or whatever it was, it was done by the family. So we just... We're those people who just say, listen, come into our house. Whatever is there, we'll give you. We'll rustle up something quick. 
if it's an actual date itself, we'll curate a menu, drinks, this, yeah. this, and that. And, you know, we'll just basically take care of you at the end of the day. And then, like, all the events you guys are doing are selling out. I've seen the ones coming up <laughs> next weekend. No, this it weekend. actually happened it this happened. past The one weekend. that people yeah. were paying 650 kwacha for. Yes. Mm-hmm. How are you guys selling? How did you become what, so what, influential? What was that? They have a cookout. So yeah, we had a class. cooking class, a cooking mm-hmm. master class. Um, Six fifty for a ticket and it's sold out. Thousands. Yeah, yeah, true story, yeah. man. True no, story. but and you guess what? About the economy? Yeah. <laughs> no way. But you know the cool part about December. coming to our cooking class. December, boss. They were able to not just learn, but they went back home with not a goodie bag, yeah. but a goodie box. Mm-hmm. Ah, right. So with it was stuff worth, it. worth more than <clears throat> six fifty. But they didn't know that when they were coming. But I'm Your grateful course. that they felt. They, they were confident enough that they'll come and learn something. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. yeah. even teaming up with uh, Black Garlic yes. Clara was oh amazing. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Black Garlic I, I, need to, I need to tap into your anointing person. or discover the secret. <laughs> How are you selling out these big gigs like all the time, man? It's the like, handkerchief, bro. No. Oh! <laughs> 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 Just give us a <laughs> And that's it. It's the hanky. It's the hanky. <laughs> KK's hanky. Too late. It's too late for you, man. No, but you know, let me tell you something, K+. Plus. When you do something mm-hmm. with passion, when it has authenticity. Yeah, when you, when you pour in love. Yeah. Yes, Like we said, love. Mr. Wood put love. <laughs> and I think everyone you've had on your podcast yeah. so far, I think there's one common thing that they have. I love bringing passion. It's yeah. passion yeah. Mm-hmm. and authenticity. Mm-hmm. We are all extreme, <laughs> extremely different guests that you had. <laughs> yeah. But the one thread that runs through each person is passion. that yeah. it's passion, it's authentic, and it's disruptive. One thing you may not know, have known about Lulu is she's a president magnet. <laughs> oh, Word? goodness. We talked about, we talked about Kenneth Kaunda. <laughs> There's more? <laughs> no? There's more presidents? Yeah. There's this guy. Number. It's Barack Obama <laughs> in the equation, bro. Oh my goodness. Which, which, which Barack? Barack Obama. Which one? The one in the States? <laughs> Dude. How was how that experience, though? You at the White House meeting Barack Obama. I would have peed my pants. Tell me why. Like. <laughs> like, I almost peed my pants. And you know, William and I were a few months into oh, dating. Oh, wait. This is actually yeah. true. Yeah. She, she met Obama. Oh, and, and Biden. She, and she and, and Biden. Biden. Yeah, and Biden. <laughs> Oh, Biden took my phone President. and took a picture of me, his wife, and Charlotte Scott. Because um, Guy Scott was the acting president at the time. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I said. She's a president magnet. No, it's so funny. How was, okay, okay, <laughs> for me, did you tell oh, them about the handwritten note you got from the other president? Oh, from the former president. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. I, well, you, I've never she told just, that you story, just omitted actually. Hey, that's that's wait, please, hold on. Please, please share what the story. was in the There's note? There's a lot to unpack here. Okay, wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to unpack. Yeah. So so let's start with the Obama. How did that happen? Okay, so I was one of the 500 um, Mandela Washington Fellows. Uh-huh. And I was selected to go to the US. It was my first time out of Africa. Okay. Guys, it was a huge moment for me. <laughs> I touched down in America. I literally wanted to kiss the ground because America had been a dream of mine. I was sobbing. I know the feeling. And you know, I flew into, into D.C., in the afternoon so yes you're Kanye. flying in and you're seeing mm. the monuments and what guys i was a ball of tears anyway so firstly obama got me to america for the first time got me out of africa for the first time um and we went through this program now we were told as we were going that you are going to be in the same room with obama at the conference like after you're finished with mm. like your course of yeah. six weeks <clears throat> You will not get to talk to him per se. You're just all going to be in the same room. <laughs> you He'll just shout feel you his out. Presence, his Maybe aura. he might shout you out like he did for Beef Law, mm-hmm. but you're not going to be in his space. So you're told right? you're going to be the token African people. Mm. No, William, no. <laughs> <laughs> all Africans in there. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> so. Um, we do the conference and I remember like saying, I don't want to be like, you know, Vilima and stuff. So some people went in very early. They were fighting for seats. I sat somewhere in the back. We saw him. Ah, hey, hey, hey. Michelle came the next day. Uh, Biden came, I think also and Mm -hmm. spoke to us. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I think it was on the third day of the summit. I received an email and it's an invitation to the white house. And I'm like, wait, this this you must it was a be prank, a, right? this must be a hoax. So I get in touch with the embassy, and I'm like, yo, do you know about this? And they're mm. like, wait, ho, what? So they're also going ballistic. I'm like, whoa, okay. <laughs> so now I'm asking, like, I'm talking to my friends, and I'm like, yeah, so I'll see you at the dinner, and they're like, which dinner? What dinner? And I realize, it was just out you of and the five hundred, yeah. 
Was there select. were only two what? invited. And wow. I was the only one with a plus one invitation. And William wasn't there. And he, I was like, William, come to America. <laughs> Let's go to oh, So who did, you, who did you take with you? Yeah, who did you take? Um, so I took a friend. She's from... You know, Kenya? No, not Where's Kenya. She from? She's from... No, 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 no. Not Gambia. Not... It's one of the conflict areas right now. Sorry. And she's a friend, you say? <laughs> yes. No, guys, sorry. The name is just... Oh, you know shame. what? This guy. Gosh. Okay. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can I continue my friend story? Friend from country X. Let's, let, yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> guys, I'm so sorry. I mean, like... I think it's 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 the juice. I think Mr. Woods so, it's like okay. so yeah. blame the drink. It's okay. But anyway, it's in the so, middle of Africa, just above. Yeah, yeah no, somewhere. No, guys, it's one of the conflict areas. I know that it's it's not near Mali. It's, it's near okay, Gambia. Lulu. It's, it's okay. It's Burundi or one of those. Not vibes. Burundi. Uh uh-uh. uh. Anyway, so continue anyway. with the story. So yeah. I chose her because I just felt like out of everyone <laughs> who was around. <laughs> no, let's let's bring bring, bring us a map, please. Guys, no. <laughs> Let's you <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Zambia. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when people come into my home. This, this is really us. This is us. Oh, Hashtag this is I'm us. Okay, okay so, so go yes, ahead. Yes, so I invite her because I just felt out of <clears throat> all the people around, this would do her good too. Right. And I'm very particular about them. I'm very strategic on how I position myself, but also others. Mm-hmm. Um, so we get into the... Uh, so I read about it in the, is it the the New York Times or something. They wrote an article about this big dinner. It was historic because there were going to be about, I think, 20 African presidents present at what? that dinner. And they talked about how, you know, they were very specific. They even put, when you Google it, Lulu White House, there's a list of, in, like, all the invited guests. There was a whole list. That and was your name published. is there. And my name is there. Which is awesome. <laughs> um, but they were also very specific in the article saying not everyone is going to get to meet the president. Like, actually, go shake hands. Of course yeah. not. Um, it will be mostly just the presidents. But there was going to be a lot of really incredible names there. Mm. So I'm like, oh, my God. I wish I could take my phone in. But I know it's the White House. I won't be allowed in with my phone. But we get to the White House. And they said you wouldn't, we wouldn't enter the White House because it would be in the lawns. Mm. Right. But when we get there, we are being led into the White House. Your heart. And then... <laughs> your heart at this point. Okay. But then... <laughs> like we, when I'm like, here's my phone, they're like, no, you can keep your phone. And I'm Whoa. like... Okay. There's that hanky. I think maybe I was here to just... I've been Instagramming and tweeting a lot. Maybe that's why I'm allowed to do this. So mm. let's it's K- go. It's K- KK's hanky. Ex- yeah. yeah. So I walk in and I'm like... Okay, we walk into a room full of people. But the first person I see on the side is that... Is it Chitewe, the guy who did the, that, that actor who did... She went to Ajra for. Yes. yes. So that's the first person I spot. Ooh. The next person I spot is T.D. Jakes. Yo! No! Anointing, he <laughs> Fire! And uh-huh. then who else? Your favorite actor? Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro? And his wife. Big Rob. Yeah. Where's, where's my phone? I need to throw my phone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ali Kodangote. The, no. Um, Sorry. I'm, I'm yeah. still stuck on Robert De Niro, man. Like, The Godfather is my personal favorite movie. I think I would have fainted. William didn't no, care, care about, about anyone. He didn't even care. You know, she sends me a picture. It's like, oh, I, I, I met Obama. I was like, oh, that's oh, okay, great. Okay, that's nice. Robert De Niro. Like, oh! <laughs> I didn't understand showing you pictures of really powerful people. Robert De Niro is the man's man. He's man. a powerful man. No, he didn't. I, like, I didn't know that. So well, who, I, who was the president then? Was it Obama? Obama was president. Okay. So now we walk in and Obama is not in the room. So I'm like, okay. Now I'm like working the room. So one thing I like to do is just work a room. Especially when you get those opportunities. I know mm. that I've been blessed to be in rooms of power. And I'm always very um, aware of the fact that I need to use this for social good. Mm. Mm. Um, and from that room, there's been so many other opportunities yeah. that have come. And I'm so Duh. grateful. Mm. But now the, the, the part that was now shocking is this guy. So first, so I had a wardrobe malfunction as I was walking up. What, the dress so, so my wonderful. dress, like was my, it, was my it, zip. It was a Zambian oh, made shit. dress. Beautiful yeah. dress though. My zip burst so right was, on was the your butt, Was your butt showing? <laughs> yes, my butt was showing. <laughs> But, dude, I had watched too many movies. I told my friend, I'm not going home. And I just went Mm. to the security that I, the first security I could say, I said, hi, in the movies, you guys do everything. (laughs) And I'm not going home. You're either finding me a dress or you're going to sew me up. 
and or else, they or, or else Barack to... was going to see my black butt. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. led me to a bathroom in the White House. Gwang, gwang, gwang. And this lady mm. came and just did and sewed me back into my dress. And voila. Mm. And I was good. Then America. now another guy comes, a security guy <laughs> comes see? and I'm like, I'm in trouble. Maybe I did something. We're busy taking selfies in the bathroom. We've done something wrong. We are being chased. And he's like, can I have your bag? I'm like, oh crap. Is Shit. it my phone? He's like, no, 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 no. Just come with me. And he leads us. How, how's your heart at this point? Door. So like, I'm just scared. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> You've seen the movie. Yeah. And yeah. he leads us to a door and he says, the president would like to meet you. Oh! Just so. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, like all I'm saying, you is, lost it. I, I would have been like God the president of what? <laughs> <laughs> the president of, of what? <laughs> <laughs> Over who? <laughs> is my is Michael Sata here? That was Michael Sata. Yeah, yeah, no, he wasn't. He was unwell, so that's why Guy Scott oh, yeah, was representing him. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying you you thought probably they were taking you to your president, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just wasn't thinking in that moment. <laughs> but because we're right by the door, and I'm like Lulu. So, so this is, is that service, moment. The, the guys in the yes, sunglasses and whatnot. Yes. So he says the president wants to meet you. And, and I'm like, yeah. act right, act right, Lulu. Because <laughs> even just walking into that room, the, it lucky. was a room of power. You're lucky it wasn't Jacob yeah. Zuma. It was full of presidents. Right, yeah. No, but I had just met Jacob Zuma. I said, you're lucky it wasn't behind closed doors. Oh, you had met Jacob Zuma? Oh, yeah, but Jay Z wasn't a, 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 a factor for her. So. Wait, you met Jacob Zuma? Yeah, I met did, many presidents. Okay, can we, get to, the, can we get to the Barack part? Okay. Did Jacob Zuma hit on you? Then? This is the climax. No, he of the didn't. Story. He was calling me his, his grandchild from Zambia. Not wife. No. Okay. Cause he was sitting right behind me. So is it lucky? So we had a like we danced on the dance floor together. Okay, we walk on the same soil with Jacob okay. Zuma. Can we get to Obama? So yeah. I they open the door and first person is Michelle and Michelle is telling me, I read your profile, Lulu. I'm so proud of what you no. can do with the little you have. And next. Like I, the guy literally. I think I had paused for a second. <laughs> There's a security guy. Even in the pictures, you see his hands behind pushing. my back because he's <laughs> like, move. Yeah. "Move!" And I'm like, "Thank you, thank you. You do not know what this opportunity has done for me." And just mm. thank you for all the 500 of us who've gotten this opportunity. I realized in that moment I was not there as Lulu. I was there as the 500 young African leaders that yeah. have been given this amazing opportunity. This amazing. Um, and he's like, no worries, Lulu, you deserve it. And I'm hoping to open up this opportunity to more. And he said a lot of other things. And then we were led out. Now, funny story. We are led out. And my friend and I, once the door shuts, we are outside. And we crumble to the ground and we are crying. <laughs> but there's this old man and a lady who are like, oh, it's okay, just get up, get up. They're clearly guests who've also just greeted them. Yeah. And the old man is like, I know how you're feeling. And so we, you know, we walk out and just behind us was the other one guy who was invited. Yeah. He's a Kenyan guy. And so we are led to like a tram, which now takes us on the loans to where we're going to be. And the old man is even like to the younger lady, take a picture of them and you should email them. They, we exchange business cards <coughs> um, with the, no, I think I gave her my business card and she's like, mm -hmm. I'll email you. Two weeks later, she emails me. And I met, like, I'm doing attachment now because you had an attachment professional program. Yeah. And I'm telling my workmates, oh, look, I got an email. This was me and the White House. So it's behind us. And there was this old man. And then one of my <laughs> workmates is like, this lady is the one that sent you this email? I'm like, yeah. This picture, is this the old man you're talking about? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, who's the old man? Michael Bloomberg. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know. Total madness. You were in the presence of billions of dollars. Uh, and not even know it. Media billions of dollars. <laughs> and Lulu, what? And the this hanky crying. could not show you. No. How good was that hanky then? I forgot about the hanky. I started crying. There's no time to cry, guys, when there's an opportunity. What? Be aware. That what? taught mm. me a huge okay, no, 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 lesson. Okay, you know what? To be honest, I wouldn't have known Michael Bloomberg. I know his name. <laughs> I was so disappointed in myself. <laughs> like, ultra disappointed. Like, well, imagine so who, so that. So, who's the woman? The wife? No, no, no. She was, her, like, head of his foundation, the Michael Bloomberg Foundation. Wow. Mm. Billion. Well, that's billions of dollars, though. Uh, moving God on. Was damn. it the we, uh, we Keep Moving Foundation that took you? Yeah, on, on so this? it was the work that I was doing with We Keep Moving at the mm -hmm. time. So, you know, it's not actually a foundation. For me, it's yeah. just something that I do as a social cause and using my influence for social it's, good. It's not making as much noise anymore. Like you, so I remember like 2010, 2015, <laughs> We keep moving. So, ever, have you given up on the youth or what? No, no, no. I haven't. And that's where <laughs> have we're you given up on us. <laughs> Tell we us. Are. Tell us. The youth. 
I just feel That's like the youth. so <laughs> when I came back from the US yes I was doing a lot yeah and my angle has always been how can you use your influence to impact change for the youth and you know the communities mm -hmm. so I have done with we keep moving yeah. uh, so much work with Pizza Hut with Vodafone, that yeah. was we keep moving. Um, yo, so many brands, Dagon Samsung, Media, yeah. Dagon that was, Media, yeah. that was all we keep SOS. moving. Even bunch. with Afri Shop, when I was with Afri, Afri Shop, Shop yeah. when because remember we started the business and COVID hit. We yeah. helped. We students. spoke on the phone. You were telling me yes. about China. No, yeah, we spoke. We yeah. helped the 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 students in China get access to free masks. So we asked mm. relatives in Zambia to communicate with us because we had access to masks through the the the. The, the manufacturers that we China, know. Yeah. So that was, we keep moving, still doing work. But you're going to see more of it in 2022. I think in 2021, in 2020, yeah. it was like after AfriShop sort of didn't work out yeah. mm -hmm. um, and we were repositioning ourselves mm -hmm. and we started Wood Kitchen, we that's, were that's still worked, starting mm -hmm. out. And then now we are in a place where we're like, okay, great. We understand the business. We know where we are going to. And now we can also afford to do mm -hmm. CSR as a business. Mm. And also understanding how we can impact businesses in the space we're currently in yeah. to give back through the We Keep Moving initiative. The first thing you see when you enter the wood house, I, I don't know if I can describe this, like you enter mm -hmm. from that direction where the camera is, you walk through the living room. One of the first things you see is a TV. Is this the famous TV? <laughs> <laughs> That's the famous gift. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Can I catch you up? Please. Okay. Let, 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 let me catch him up. She posted a story. This was a few weeks ago about yeah. saving money to buy a TV for her husband. Yeah. But this TV became famous because people started attacking Ludo and, you know, with your reputation, why are you buying such a small TV? But it's uh, 50 inches, yeah? Yeah. yeah. 50 inches. It's way bigger than what we had before. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was your takeaway from that post? The, the, the backlash you got from a lot of people in your post. I, I was going through yesterday and yeah. a lot of people talk about, talked about the inches instead of the gesture. Did you see my response? I didn't see a response though. Okay, so my response to that um, was I live within my means. Mm. Yeah. I was just like, guys, Vane, you will, if, if you haven't yet learned this about yeah. me <laughs> and my husband actually, yeah. we live within our means. Oh. A lot of people get shocked when they walk into our house because they expect us to live in a mansion. We made a decision to downgrade our lives to save in order to build our own home. Yeah. And three, four years it's later, just priorities at the yeah, end of the day. we are building our mm. home. And I can say one of our homes now. Yeah. We are about to go into the building stage of the culinary, culinary studio. studio yeah. Those are sacrifices mm. we made because mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. life we want. So we... and. I think Wood Kitchen also worked because because we moved here, we said we wouldn't eat out a lot. True, yeah. true. So we started cooking yeah, you're more. Yeah, you're far from town here at yes. the farm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah. because of that living within our means, yeah. a business opportunity came out of yeah. that. Mm, so man, we live within our means and I'm just not... But what, what was your takeaway from that post? I mean, about, about you know understanding the Zambian mindset. We need to educate and that's why I shared it. I think yeah. I already knew this. Yeah. I share certain <clears throat> things because there's a lesson in it. I'm, I'm very intentional about what I put up. Yeah. I'm very intentional. Even if I'm sharing parts of my lifestyle, there's a reason why I'm sharing it. Mm -hmm. And there's, I feel someone will relate to it. And for me, sharing about saving with my kids for something like that, I don't hear a lot of people talking about that. And I wanted them to know it's a normal conversation to have. Yeah. You should be able it's, it's to It's a normal conversation mostly in white homes saving for mm -hmm. something yeah yeah mm -hmm. jewish. Mm -hmm. mostly yeah jewish homes <laughs> especially yeah yeah big, yeah, the big yeah. One there. Mm -hmm. and, and and sadly as africans we don't teach our kids that i mean i saw this documentary on netflix um with killer mike mm -hmm. where um, in the documentary he decided to do a test so he said for the next three days he was going to travel from dc to atlanta right. and whatever he was going to use so uh, the transport he was going to use, where he was going to live, what he was going to consume in terms of food, mm -hmm. had to be black owned. Mm. Right, that's right. You need, he slept in the park because he could not find any establishment <laughs> black -owned. Wow. Black -owned wow. that was open. It's mad. That's deep, man. And it, wow. it also showed like, if there's a dollar that is put in the Jewish community, a dollar mm -hmm. that is put in the Indian community, and a dollar that is put in the black community, black community mm -hmm. how long 
that dollar stays, stays in, stays in that community mm-hmm, before mm-hmm. it gets out. Mm-hmm. You need to watch that documentary. It is amazing. Yeah. I liked how the one in the Jewish community kept going around the Jewish community. There you go. Mm-hmm. The one in the black community went to the Indian community. Jewish community back to the Indian community. In seconds. It left seconds, the black yeah. community in seconds. So the yeah. first guy that got it, mm-hmm. the first thing he bought was that black owned. Wow. <laughs> uh, That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, wow. I think... Yeah, we need to have more of these discussions. Yeah, so financial. yeah, financial literacy financial is extremely literacy important. Is a, like it's a big thing, and and I think without planning it, we've been seeing more of our content, like especially my personal content, mm-hmm. speaking on that because that's where we are. So like with my content, I'm always about like where I am in my life now. So there's people mm-hmm. who started following me when they were students or when they were my age at the time, you've just started working. And now I've come to realize that we are sort of at the same place. We have more disposable income. What are we Mm -hmm. doing with it? Um, Where are we sending our children to school? Part of the reason we are still here, I think at at some point we thought, oh, we could move into a rented house as we are building. But we thought, well, we want our daughter to go to private school. We want our son to go to private school. And that's a sacrifice we made Mm -hmm. to sort of still stay here. And they're staying in the same bedroom and Mm -hmm. fighting. But... (laughs) <laughs> I think it's important to share that information. Admirable. Does you looking at my MacBook right now sort of piss you off in any way? <laughs> you know what? You're evil. Like he is evil. Well, like, what's going on? What, what, what am I? The interview's over. Thank you very much for coming to the Wood Kitchen. <laughs> she, uh, they lost two MacBooks Both in a same day. day. Same day. Stolen. 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 And Stolen. from that day. Lulu Hangala became an insurance evangelist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I tell you. you guys, that's we learned, can, you, can, you, can you share the story of your MacBooks first? You, you know, weird. It yeah. was such a busy day. Right. First couple of days of Wood Kitchen. So, you know, you're meeting this person. This person wants to sign you up for this yeah. product or whatever it was. So, r- literally, we were running around like headless chickens. Yeah. And I think some opportunists saw what was in the car. So, we're at one of the shopping centers pull up for a meeting literally this meeting was like 10 15 minutes yeah we come out and i look and i said you know there's something wrong with the car something there's something that is wrong guys we looked in the back what's Ma- it to cry macbooks both, both, both of them where was this where Go was on. the car park it's a it's a shopping center which one it's a shopping at the center. Shopping center. shopping center. We need to know so we don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's okay. Shopping center. But we need to know so we don't go there. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we learned the hard way, unfortunately. So yeah, I think we're a bit wise. Yeah, wiser and now. That upsets us. Mm. <laughs> when you see my MacBook, it upsets yeah, like you. It and you off. Us. Like the exact one I had. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> you know what? Let me check my phone. Oh, my phone. You know, my phone. Oh, 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 my insurance evangelist <laughs> well you know like why did i say oh yeah so why that story came up also again i had watched the smart money smart woman yeah on netflix mm-hmm. yes yeah, mm-hmm. on netflix that, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and that just said i just realized that listen let me sh- i feel in my heart i need to share this mm-hmm. um because i know i'm not the only one who's gone through yeah. this and i'm guilty of a lot of the issues that the women in that series were having and that's why I shared it. And remember what my comment was, and that's where this interview was born months yes. ago before yes. the podcast even started. Mm-hmm. I said, Lulu, these are things we need to be discussing so that people can learn. Mm-hmm. You're saving for a TV. Yes. A lot of times people will go and get a loan and then tie themselves down instead yeah. of just right. saving a bit. Right. And then the other discussion we had was the insurance thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many Zambians actually even have life insurance? Yeah. yeah. You never know when you're going to drop. Yeah. It's true. It's or when a uh, log falls in your head and you go. Yeah. You know what I mean. All insurance companies, happening. by the way, sponsorship. <laughs> Hi, sponsorship for two. We're talking about the wood yes. kitchen here and that's their podcast. So, by the way, if you are a sponsor, you. your name will be popping up at the bottom of the screen exactly. right now. Come uh, to and the wood decide. kitchen. Opportunity. Come to the wood kitchen. It's called a squeeze box. Oh, wow. What's happening here? Something is happening here. Oh, baby. Are you ready for this? Oh, See, wow. Before we start, something has been bothering me. Uh huh. I've heard a oh, hide lot hide. about Michelle Obama's hands that they are huge. <laughs> She was so nervous. She had, no she, t- she had no time. She had Is this true? Does she? No, she's just tall. She's tall. So she doesn't have these massive man hands. No, she doesn't <laughs> have man hands. Because it's been bothering me. She's like so hot in person. Right. Absolutely. 
there's a presence that Michelle has. Like yeah. I mean, Obama. Oh, great presence. But ooh, Michelle. But Michelle. Michelle yeah, got I mean, it's me. Yeah, too. It's too. Michelle got me. She had you becoming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I became <laughs> in that moment. I became. No, wow. honestly speaking, she blew me away. Okay. That night, two people blew me away. Michelle Obama and um. Dr. Motsepe, so Patrice Motsepe's wife. Patrice? Mm. Yeah, Patrice Motsepe's oh, yeah, yeah. wife. You are so, you are, you are in Dr. Molloy. So do you yes. know that's actually, and I hope I'm not lying, that's actually the current South African president's sister? Yes. Oh, wow. Cyril Ramaphosa's sister. Funny story oh. about her. I went to them and I, and I told them, I said, listen. See, Lily. I am, mm. everyone else I've been meeting, including yeah. Obama, I've been okay. Mm. But you... I feel like crying that I'm in the same room with you because I've watched your story. And for Dr. Wow. Molloy, I had seen her start Africa Fashion Week. I'd really followed her. Oh. It was mm. such a moment for no, me. No, I know it is. Yeah. It was such a big moment for me. And then l- later in the evening, after we had been on the dance floor, I danced with Angelique Kijo. I, I danced <laughs> with, um, what's his name? The guy, the, the guy, the singer, baby. Which one? The, the, the guy. Chris Brown? No, no, not Chris Brown. The older guy. He used to have an afro anyways guy. Nice ballad guy. Plays the piano. Lionel Richie. Yes, Lionel yeah. Richie. Like Richie Lionel. piano. Yeah. Okay, wow. anyway. Anyways, so um, at the end of the evening, Patrice Motsep and his wife come and tell me, and she says, I watched you work the room. I'm so proud of you. I love how you worked the room. Wow. Now, funny story. Four years later, I'm in Canada. And again, I'm in a room of power at um, the Women Deliver Conference, a side reception yeah. with um, the, 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 the Prime Minister of Canada and lots of other presidents. There's Kenyatta in there. And I was just so blessed to be one of the, I think, two, 300 people in that room. And I hear a tap on my, you know, I feel a tap on my shoulder. And I turn and she's like, there you go again. <laughs> working the room. <laughs> Wait, so, so, so before we Those move on, moments, yeah. if, we, if we were to get into your phone, into your contacts list, who would you say the most famous person yeah. in your phone is? Do you have Obama's number? No. <laughs> I don't have his number. I wish number. I had it. Wait, hard. <laughs> who do you think the most famous person you got in your phone is? I don't Okay, we'll get back to yeah, that. Yeah, I've got mm. quite a number of numbers, but I, I, I don't, I'm not even going to tell you. No, I can't tell you that. <laughs> you be really? No, I can't well, are they a criminal? No. <laughs> they're, they're, criminal? Too, they're too powerful. But I can't tell you that. Too powerful. She mentioned them here. She would have to move, change. You also mentioned something about the former president and something being signed. <laughs> William, like that story. Like, he's not that popular now, but he's really cool. I mean, so is he the one whose phone, num- who's phone no, numbers in your phone? No, no, I don't. I do not. <laughs> Katagir, katag- well, how do you say that? Word? <laughs> that word. Chizu, Chizu, <laughs> 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 Withdraw Delela. <laughs> <laughs> no, just um, funny story. So the past person, I happened to do a state event and he wrote a note to me to ask me to get somebody to speak. And that person was not on the program. And his team had said that person should not speak. But when the president writes you a note... Wait, so what was on the note again? Sorry. No, he just asked me to allow someone to speak. And his team had specifically said that person, that should person speak. shouldn't mm. speak and that person is not on the program. Yeah, so who's the person? I can't say. But it's, uh, are they famous? Yeah. Are they in government right now? No. So Are they, not. Are they socialite? <laughs> he's, no. He's are they a musician? <laughs> no. <laughs> he's Actor? never going to get it. No. <laughs> Male or female? Something. <laughs> human, human, human. <laughs> anyway, 60 seconds. Let's play 60 right, seconds go, now. Go, yeah. Let's go, let's okay, go. so now, so who, what's, what's the situation? Are we asking you or what? What's are we asking them? Each other. Oh, right. Are we asking each, each other? other? Each yes. Other. Each other. So, no, you, you can't look yet. <clears throat> yeah, oh, so, so you I, know how 60 seconds works, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so it's me first. It's you. Okay, so, so I saw one, so I'm going <laughs> to... Oops. oops, oh. oops. Oh. Now you've seen everything. No, he hasn't seen everything. I'm good at hiding. I don't always show everything. The, you the need to keep ones. something to the imagination. You, you hit your butt in the So this house, is 60 right? seconds, the Zambian version, so it's not 30 seconds. Okay, Shout yes. out to Hype Communications. Thank you so much. We literally played this game two weeks ago at our place, like at, yes, at our at other, the, like at the outdoor kitchen. Hype, yeah. Hype Communications hooked you up? Um, no, someone else happened to come someone with it. Someone who's in the circle. I think one yeah, of his... Yeah, like um, one of his friends or something. Yeah. All right, let's go. 60 okay. seconds. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. go. Okay, uh, Mumbaiachi just released a song about it. Train, it nah. goes to Tanzania. Dar es Salaam. The train between Zambia and Tanzania. Tazara. Thank you. Um, we want to have land there. So not Lower Zambezi, it's a water body close Siavonga. to Lusaka. Closer to Lusaka. Kafue. Yes, Kafue. 
gorge or Kafue River. Yes. Um, oh, you wouldn't know that. Um, <laughs> well, when when we wow. don't have Grandpa the powder, we d- and we don't have Panadol. You gave it to me the other day to to cure my. Caffeine. Thank you, darling. Um, <laughs> the burger place. Burger boss. Oh no no it's not no no forget it. Where Uncle Sweden stays. McKinney. Thank you. I, I. Oh, you used to work with him in Chipata. He was your second in demand, like Kobelala Command. Peter. Yeah. Yes. Um. You know Peter and Bear made it to ten sixty seconds <laughs> <laughs> before I did. God damn. That's it. Done. <laughs> I'm done with this. I like. Wait. So let me let me let me look at the card. <laughs> How many did he? Okay. So got McKinney. Got Kabamo. Huh? Got Peter. I thought you. Were, few way. I thought Chimbokaila was going to be easy. Yeah, Chazara. No, I. I is that Chimbokaila? Let's see. That's yeah. Chimbokaila, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I wouldn't have. Known and the burger thing was Big Boss. Big Boss. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, the Big Boss. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. You go. Same one. Oh, uh, swimmer, uh, mixed race. I know, I know this one. No, Likes sorry, to be naked. sorry, sorry, sorry. No, to be naked. not her. No, I already saw this one. We discussed this one before. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Start yeah. yeah. I nervous. won't say who you are, but I knew who you were. She <laughs> likes to be naked. <laughs> <laughs> because she's a swimmer. I yes. mean, like, hey, and, and people call people okay. in bikinis naked in Zambia. So, uh, well, I mean, likes, they, they she they likes to be naked. All right, here we go, Mr. Wood. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh. Uh, my favorite series, the one where I refuse some Nuki. Oh, yes, that one. I hate it. I hate that thing. I hate it so much. You what is it called? It. Not Avengers. I hate that show so much. I need to know it. Like, he refuses. He does not want Luke okay. when yes. it's on? When it's on, can you imagine? I bought a whole sexy outfit and I was like, Pah! And he would rather watch and a TV like, show. What is it called? The one where they kill each other. Help me. Okay, let's Squid move. game. Let's, no. Let's move no. on. Let's move Which on. Is this um, game of Thrones. Yes. Yes, <laughs> a famous place where they lift weights for like just like serious owns for like half of Mr. Zambia's have been produced from that uh, fitness establishment. Kawata Gym. Yes, well done. Um, Bruce Willis acted in this uh, series when he was he was like a cop back in the day. William, I don't know. I didn't have a TV. Okay, so another enough. traditional. Uh, it's made out of um, traditional drink. Chibantu. No, the other. Tobwa. The other one. Mukuyu, Makuyu. Uh, eh? Moon? Uh, mo, mo. You said it. Mukoyo! Yes. <laughs> Kids love this um, refreshment. They mix it with, it's a cordial, they mix it with water. Mazoi? No, the other Sobo. one. Sobo? No, the one I used, we used to drink as kids. I don't know, you guys are bougie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where all the Nigerian movies are made. Huh? What's the Nigerian film industry called? Nollywood. Well done. Um, a lot of uh, Makitu and all of them are from where? It's a province. Kopala! Uh, Kopala no. belt! Yes, well done. Um, a lot of people work from what to what? Is it's it called, nine, it's a, eight to five? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> the next one after eight. <laughs> the next one after eight. Seven. <laughs> Nineteen. I hope you don't do your daughter's homework. Nineteen. <laughs> so, Nine to five, like say. What, what, what did I just say? <laughs> Oh, I said eight to five. <laughs> and you said the one after eight. Sorry. <laughs> Who does the homework for your daughter? Him. Actually, that's your daughter. We're hoping that way. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The next cut. So I can do one more. Are you, one are more. You timing one more. Us? And we call it you're a day. Timing us. Okay, you're timing us. Okay, yeah. great. Um, so. <laughs> 17. Okay. They lost the election. PF. <laughs> patriotic <laughs> Front. The Prefix. Patriotic Front. Yes. Um. You like the cake. That cake, I, I put syrup on it or something, and there's dates in it. What is it called? Sticky toffee pudding. Yeah, now toffee, and then you, and, and then it's a, it's not a sour, it's a, when something is not sour, it's... Sweet. Yes, toffee sweet. Yeah, great. <laughs> um, <laughs> president of Kenya. Woo, Kenyatta, oh. Uhuru, what was... Yes, yeah, yes, 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 you said correctly. Oh, President Uhuru Kenyatta. Yes, um, I just emceed the launch of their truck. Tata, Zambia. Yes. Um, people say I look like her. You won't even know her. Don't worry. Lupita Nyong'o. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He thinks I look like Lupita Nyong'o. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay. Um, the road, the main road. That, Greatest road. Yes. Now the other one. It's great. Great North Road. Good boy. Um, my favorite fruit this season, not masuku. We uh, have trees here. Masau. No, the trees. They're here. We don't have masau tree. Jeez, what the hell? No. Yes, Caleb. Yes, Mango. Yes, Mango. yes, thank you, Caleb. Um, I don't know this one. Oh, something Zulu. He is a Shaka Zulu. Yes. 
Uh, shaka. And then <laughs> they take our electricity all day. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, thank you. That was dope. Thank you. That was dope. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> That this. was dope. We're good at this. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a proper <laughs> Zambian conversation worth having. Remember, you can follow us on uh, Instagram. It's mm-hmm. That Z Podcast ZM. Facebook. YouTube. It's yeah. That Z Podcast. Facebook. That Z Podcast. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram as well. DJ dot K plus. He's what's that long name you put on Instagram oh, again? Oh man. Chiwe Chi. Chi what? Chingwere. Ch- there you go. You got Changamire. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Changamire underscore one. Changamira underscore one. She needs no introduction. Lulu Hangala. You got a blue tick everywhere. <laughs> the show is over. The show is over. That's it. Luyando. It's been great. Luyando and uh, William. It's been great having you. To the next episode. Thanks, Peace. guys. Thanks for having us. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Oh that Z Podcast. Z Podcast. Zambian conversations worth having. We talk to Zambian movers and shakers, the change makers, the achievers. We also discuss interesting topics. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, That Z Podcast. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Listen to That Z Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Anchor. That Z Podcast. Zambian conversations. Worth having. Hosted by K+. K+. It's K+, K+ baby. <laughs>